General Hospital's father review that the showdown at Sunny Corrental Coffee Warehouse between Sunny and Jason Morgan is interrupted. Giant Miller is dead in to ease the tension. A giant effort only seems to make Sunny angrier. Sunny argued that the coffee warehouse was Sunny property, and Jason has no right to turn it into his own office. Despite Sunny's objections, Jason stubbornly insisted that from now on, the warehouse was no longer owned by Sunny. Attentions escalate. Diane tries to intervene and urges Jason to keep quiet, because Diane knew that both men were angry and about to confront each other. However, Diane's effort were in vain, as Sonny's and Jason were and were both determined to resolve their differences by force. Just when the situation seems about to get out of control. Police officer arrives just in time. Despite the risk of injury, police step in and try to stop the escalating conflict. Police reason, reason, and intervention served at a turning point, causing a conflict between Sunny and Jason to temporarily stop. Police timely arrival not only prevents conflict. But also provides a moment of clarity for both Sunny and Jason. When they stop to assess the situation, they realize the futilities of their field and the importance of finding a peaceful solution. With Collie's help, they are able to pull themselves away from the brink of violence and begin to reconsider their action. This also makes them think about their impact on each other and those around them. The interruption at the coffee warehouse marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing story between Sonny and Jason, setting the stage for the possibility of reconciliations and redemptions as the plot unfolds. Viewers can expect to see how this temporarily. Ceasefire impacts the dynamic of their relationship, but things will get worse when Sunny's illness returns. Sunny refuses to accept Jason's cooperation with the FBI, which Sunny sees as Jason's betrayal. Sunny's suspicions are fueled by Jason's recent confrontation. What Sunny assumes is Jason's secret surveillance of Sunny. Feeling betrayed and vulnerable, Sunny is determined not to ignore this perceived act of disloyalty. In response to Jason's actions, Sunny decides to take matter into his own hands. Sunny is able to order his trusted associate, Rick. To carry out a secret plot against Jason, this plan may involve kidnapping and interrogating Jason, aiming to extract information and assert Sunny power once again. Jason finds himself woken up in a secret warehouse. His memory of the attack hazy. When he regains consciousness, Jason quickly deduces that Sunny's. Is behind the kidnapping. Jason and Stink tell him that Sunny Rage had finally caught up with Jason. When Jason breaks himself, the confrontation that awaited. Meanwhile, Collie wakes up in the hospital and is frantic to know Jason where's the bell. However, Collie's encounter is silent and evasive. Answer from Jill's around her, despite Collins' persistence. Collins remained in darkness. Collins was unaware of Jason's disappearance and the danger Jason was facing. As the mystery surrounding Jason's disappearance deepens, deepens, 
tensions escalate and loyalties are tested. With Sunny's action pushing the boundaries of their friendships to the limit, Jason Fate, Hanks, and the Pellens, will Jason be safe and released by Sunny's after questioning? Or has Jason finally had to face Sunny's ruthlessness in his relentless pursuit of power and control?